this is a public service announcement, a heads up about something that I've learned over the last year and two months and being in the market every day and watching, you know, extensive data analysis. Um, and, you know, I don't think there's anybody that would even, uh, you, you know, I'm very, very meticulous, you know, I've taken, uh, I don't like have a degree or anything, but I've taken uh, college courses and gotten very good grades. Uh, you know, I'm very analytical. Um, so, um, I wouldn't consider myself to be average. I, I would consider myself to be very intuitive and, uh, with the sense of, uh, a troubleshooting kind of a problem solver, you know, get in there and figure out, okay, why is, why is this system dysfunctional? You know, what can be done to make things more efficient? I think I'm kind of like that and very logical, rational, in how I make decisions. And I want to preface this public service announcement by saying that because what I'm about to tell you, you will never hear anyone that trains you on how to trade. And they can, they can have, you know, a hundred years of experience, but nobody is going to tell you what I'm about to tell you. Okay. And I'm not going to give, this is not about financial advice. I'm not advising you to do something. I'm only pointing out the probability of your failure. And it's based on nothing to do with your ability, okay? And you're going to have people teaching you, if you spend any amount of time on the internet, uh, you're going to have people telling you your probability is based on, you know, 50, 60 different variables, but they're not going to discuss what I'm about to say. And that's where I believe what I have to say is extremely crucial to your uh, peace of mind, financial security, and that you're not going to be led astray by uh, indirect scamming. Okay. What I mean by that is it's not, it's not like right in your face to take your money. It is indirect. Okay. So there may, there may not be a single individual with a, you know, agenda. Okay. So having said that, what this, uh, what this over here on the left is, is a percentage scale. Okay. And I'm using it in terms of percentage because everyone has a different account size. And I basically put this together like two or three days ago. And personally, my opinion is I'm not going to be doing anymore. I don't want to even consider trying to make a living at trading. Okay. And it, it, it has been my dream for the past 10 years and I am going to put it, you know, I'm going to stop, stop even fooling myself. And I'm going to show you why, what you're looking at here. If you look at this hundred percent, that represents the probability of success. If those who are successful, that I'm going to put them at the 100%, okay? So it's just a ratio relative speaking in percentages. If you do not short or have the opportunity to short stocks, you no longer have this 100%, which is the successful trader has the ability to short or go long. So your probability of success is going to be reduced because you're not going to be able to play both sides of the market. So I would put that probability of you know, relative to the guy that's successful, you're going to have to knock that down to 70%. And there's a lot of accounts out there that arbitrarily will not allow you to short. And they'll, some of them will, will give one reason, the other one will give a... There's no standardization. It's kind of up to them. Having said that, there are still other brokerages that will say, yeah, you can short. Here's what you need to do. Yeah, you have the ability to short. And then you go in and you start shorting. What And what you end up with is getting these messages that pop up and tell you that they don't have the funds in their... Uh, catalog. And then you, you know, you short a couple more things and then you get the next message comes up says, we do not have that available for you to short. And then you call them up and you say, well, what do you have available to short? And they say, well, we, we don't know. You have to short it and find out. And what you realize is that you've just been suckered into getting an account and you cannot short. So um, the, again, the person that who's successful, has the ability to short, he's going to have more opportunities than you that because you don't have the opportunity to short. So I'm reducing, if you can, if you cannot get out there into an account that allows you to short, you're going to be reduced 70% of the successful trader. You're going to be reduced probably by about a 30% uh, annual income potential, okay? That's just one variable. I'm going to discuss another one. It's called a three-day clearance period. Most traders that have been trading for their whole life don't even understand what that means. And I, and I encourage you to go to the Securities and Exchange Commission, read the definition. I'm going to give it pretty much verbatim. It says something to the effect of three-day clearance period is a three-day hold on your money for any security uh, sold. So it's like I, you sell a security, you don't have access to your money for three days. Okay. Now, the way you get around that is if you have a margin, it doesn't really matter because let's say I make 
seven trades, I trade up to the 100% of my account, and they don't have my money for three days while I have my margin, which is three times the account value, or four times in some cases. So those who have a margin are going to be able to circumvent the problem with the three-day clearance period, which, which in my opinion is, an, opinion is an arbitrary thing that they've done to generate income because in some countries, it, the money comes right back to you and there is no three-day clearance period. Okay, Those who have the three-day clearance period without margin, they're not going to be down at 70%. It's going to knock them down to 20% because those who are using margin have one, two days that they can trade. Okay, so I would drop the probability of your success down to 20%. So without margin and without, uh, what was the other thing that I discussed? Without the ability to short, without having a margin, your chances of success have dropped to 20% relative to the trader who is successful. I haven't even begun to tell you the, what, how critical it is to have the buying power of three to four times your account size. All right, because you can go out and say, "Man, I got twenty, you know, twenty-five thousand. I'm going to just go out and just, you know, make it rich." Well, that ain't going to happen. Okay, and here's another problem: good luck trying to get a straight answer out of somebody when you call these brokerages. Okay, you know these these people, and you and you try to get the straight answer because um, some of them will tell you you can short, but you won't know that you can't until you get in there and start trying it. So go out and do some research. And here's another thing that get that that is uh, really difficult. You know, you don't want to be transferring large sums of money back and forth to different accounts because okay, it didn't work out here or this guy. You know, and it's really bizarre. One trading account will will allow you to trade, but they're going to charge you like ten dollars a trade, and that sounds cheap. But my God, when you're doing, you know, trying to do five trades a day, you know that thing adds up. And if if you if you're having a rough time in the market, it could eat up all your profits. Okay, that's just a really difficult thing to try to overcome. And then you go to an account that maybe only charges like a buck, okay? But then they'll have all these other restrictions, okay? And I'm going to read what I wrote over here on the right because this is a critical, critical thing, okay? Arbitrary restrictions placed on trading accounts. The result is an unfair disadvantage or extreme burden of impossible odds stacked against you. This is, has nothing to do with your skill, understanding, emotions, or experience. And again, I'm very analytical, um, in my engineering classes, I could solve problems nobody else could solve, okay? And I approach the market the same way. And then, you know, if you're the same, do not get all upset that you're somehow failing. You're not failing. The system was designed in such a way to make you food for somebody else, okay? That's the way you need to understand it. It's a form of economic oppression. Economic oppression. Something they don't teach in any university that I know of, but it is right out there. This is proof of its existence. Let me continue reading this. Most authors and veteran traders never discuss this disadvantage and verbally abuse the new trader with the insults such as, you need to learn to control your emotions. And it's a typical codependent relationship in the making. This video is intended to educate you so that you don't fall victim to their harassment, verbal abuse, and complete disregard for your financial security as well as peace of mind. Okay, I used to be a safety coordinator, okay? I used to design a safety program. That's one of the things I've done. Um, some of the other things that I've done, I've taken psychology classes. One of the last couple of classes I took was psychology, basic, and then I think it was an abnormal psychology class, which is basically what... Most people working in the healthcare field, that's what they take, okay? There is a tremendous amount of abusive attitudes out there, all right? And there is a tremendous, also a tremendous discrimination between those who are doing really well financially and those who are trying to improve themselves, okay? And uh, I had the pleasure of t speaking to a millionaire and uh, one, of the, one of the complete, complete, fallacies. Don't ever even ever accept this when people tell you. Paper trading is an amazing tool that you can test anything out and determine your probability of success before you put any money on the line. It's a great tool. Many people don't think it's, it's it works the same as trading because there's no emotions. Well, my response to that is this. A millionaire, if they lose a thousand bucks, who cares? They got, they're a millionaire. Someone paper trading, it's the exact same emotionless trade. Someone who's logical, taking math classes, they're going to approach it from a logical probability perspective. 
paper trading for them is going to be extremely valuable for them to gain some data in order for them to have some confidence. And you, know, and you come up with some idea, you paper trade, and you find out, oh, it doesn't work. I won't do that with rolling money. It's a great way to figure that out. You know, I broke myself early on of horrible habits of getting extremely big, you know, and but I did it on paper trading. And I found out that it's not a good way to go, okay? So I got smart quick, and the paper trading – uh, got me up to speed. It's, a, it's, an, it's an amazing resource, and you can do it very quickly by just keeping a little, uh, you know, a little note file, and you can just mentally make entries and exits on things, and you know, try things out and see if you're any good at it. And uh, you just basically whatever you learn through that, you just apply it with the real money, and it is identical. Anybody that tells you different, uh, they don't do it, you know. And and I was and when and I was actually told by a millionaire that what. My understanding of that paper trade relative to being a millionaire is absolutely correct. Okay, I wouldn't be more inclined to believe the millionaire than I would somebody who is verbally abusive. And watch out for that. If you have any experience with anybody out there who's trying to teach you, who's also very disrespectful to you, okay, and very verbally abusive, pull away from that. Okay, because um, the thing about personalities that are like that. If if they know that they're doing something that's unfair, um, it's it kind of goes hand in hand. Usually, people who are extremely aggressive verbally are trying to do what's called the fallacy of appeal to force. The fallacy of appeal to force. Okay, they're trying to force you into accepting something that's not. It's really not the truth. Okay, and uh, this probability thing over on the left. If you take this seriously, it will prevent you. From going into these uh, false emphasis, false things that are emphasized by people that, you know, sure they've been trading a long time, but what they don't realize, their success is based on things that they have that are an advantage over what you have. Okay, and this this thing over on the left and these percentages are never discussed. I have in the in the in the year and two months that I've been trying to do this every day, nobody has ever brought this to my attention and brought this to my attention with this emphasis on all these different areas. You have a twenty percent chance of being you, you have a you have twenty percent relative to their hundred percent, and that doesn't even include the fact that there's a three to four times margin. So you can actually reduce twenty percent down to about five percent when it comes really right down to it. So if you're making 5% relative to the other guy who's extremely successful and he's making 20 times the amount you're making, you're doing equal performance because you have restrictions and the other guy doesn't, okay? So when this, what, this come down to, what this comes down to is it's called economic oppression. Do not feel that you're somehow less of a human being, all right? Don't go there. Okay, because because then you end up becoming food for the pharmaceuticals that you watch on TV, and they're trying to you know sell you antidepressants or something like that. Don't go down that road. You know, don't beat yourself up. Um, if you're a smart person, analytical, um, this right here is going to just completely you know uncover the you know the truth about it, the probability of success, and why it's impossible, and why hardly anybody can make it in trading. This is why. Okay, it has nothing to do with the percentage. You know, you say, well, 90% of the people, 99% of the people can't make it. It has nothing to do with the person. Okay, it has to do with this thing over here on the left. And I hope this protects you and watch it often. Thank you.